Hello gamers of the Game Report, welcome back to another episode of uh, Tutorials with Ethan. Basically what we're doing here today is going over the Vein Miner mod. A lot of requests recently on how to install Vein Miner into a Curse or Twitch pack, uh, how to change the config so it actually works, etc. So I'll be running that through with you guys today. I had a split vote on my stream yesterday. If you guys like the channel, like my stuff, like my tutorials, then hit that subscribe button while you guys are at it. Hit that little bell, receive a little extra piece of notification. Um, and then... On top of that, uh, if you guys like this and found it at all helpful, then leave a like. It doesn't cost anything. Okay, so basically, uh, I went to the Vein Miner page. I googled Vein Miner 1.10.2. Specifically, people have been asking how to get it for 1.10.2 when using the Twitch launcher. So you have your uh, mod pack that you want to play, and you would go to the Vein Miner thing by searching up Vein Miner and then the version you're playing on 1.10.2 you would click uh, files you don't just click download because that'll download a 1.11 version it'll download the newest version so what you do is you go through here and you would change the game version to 1.10.2 or whatever game version you're playing on so we'll use rev 595 <clears throat> you would download this keep then all you have to do is uh, when it's finally downloaded you open up your, you right click the profile on your Twitch launcher or t curse launcher. You uh, open the folder for your for your mod pack. Under the mod pack, you would go to mods, and this is where you would move this vein miner file into the mods section. Okay, I already have it, so I'm not going to add it. I already have vein miner right here, uh, and then. In you go back and you go to config, you have to find the vein miner config. So there's a folder for vein miner, it's pretty simple. General is the one you want to open, so you open general, then you have this list. This is your configs for vein miner. So simple things, it's very simple. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. You're gonna change override all tools true, override all blocks true. So what this does, if you guys have seen my stream or my videos, mine all blocks with all registered tools that can harvest blocks. Instead, Instead of it looking for registered tools, it will be anything. Then it will also, all tools including open hand to be used to mine blocks. True. You can use your open hand to mine blocks like I do in my stream. Um, you don't change the XP modifier or hunger modifier because that's dumb. Uh, you, you can change your maximum distance from the first block to search for blocks to destroy. I do the max range because I can stop vein mining by unsneaking anyways. Uh, limit blocks per tick you can change this defaults 10 i change it to 50 if your computer is slow and can't handle vein miner and you lag change this back to 10 but i use 50 so my vein miner goes quicker uh limit of blocks to be destroyed i just put 2 million or 20 million some some large number it doesn't matter i can stop vein mining like i said by just letting go of sneak and then people go how do you get it to work when you sneak normally back in the day i used to actually type in the command uh slash vein miner uh mode sneak and it would change it to using it when you're sneaking it ignores the key binding of whole holding uh, tilde instead i just do it here s client preferred mode sneak very simple you can choose between these you can choose disabled pressed released sneak no sneak so if you use disabled it won't work at all um pressed is when you press the key bind whatever you set it to released is when you're not holding the key bind uh sneak when you're sneaking no sneak so always there you go unless you're sneaking and that's all you have to change, and that's the entire thing. Uh, in the description below will be a paste bin of this configuration file. If you want to just do that, you can then basically, uh, you can copy all of it with Control A, and you could backspace to delete it, and you can paste in my paste bin into your configuration uh, for gen general config for Vein Miner. And uh, it's as easy as that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll even leave a link to the uh, to the Vein Miner download page just in case you're on 1.10.2. If you guys enjoyed, like I said, leave a like. I'll see you guys in the stream today. Or actually, this video is going to go up after. But yeah, should be good though. Hope you guys enjoyed though. And I'll see you guys in the next stream.